<laughs> well, today we're continuing our series on how to win at life in 2019 with a look at relationships. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking about our love lives here. We're talking about upping your social game as a whole. And here with some great tips is relationship expert Natasha Sharma. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so first up, you say we need to distinguish between being alone and being lonely. Yes. Well, they're two really different things. And uh, loneliness is being reported to be on the rise. It's actually increasing. But... There, it, there is a difference, and loneliness is more uh, your perception of the quality of your relationships. It doesn't actually relate to the quantity. So you could be married, you could have a ton of friends and still feel lonely. So I think the idea is to know which one it is that you feel, and if you are feeling lonely, um, actually embrace the idea of spending some of your time alone. I think as a society, we're very afraid of being alone, and part of that is innate, part of it is sort of conditioning. So I think, uh, you know, a really good tip is to actually do things alone. Don't be afraid of that. Remove the fear by actually going out and seeing that it can be a lot of fun and very uh, joyful to actually do things on your own. Go to a movie by yourself. Go out for lunch by yourself. Improve the quality of your relationship with yourself. Absolutely. And then by doing that, you sort of take away that fear and that, that social anxiety of actually being on your own. Hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. you know, it is a new year. A lot of people <laughs> looking for new relationships maybe. Um, but you want people to know that there's no such thing as the one. Yeah, I think that's... A sort of a very romantic grand mm. concept and it is it's romantic I think everyone likes the idea of that but in reality there is no one and I think if we mentally trap ourselves into that mindset that there's this one person out there it can cause us to eliminate a lot of potential prospects it can also be limiting if if let's say you meet someone and it doesn't work out or maybe um, you know unfortunately somebody passes away then I mean then what right so I think keeping an open mind that there are actually a lot of options and when we're selecting a partner we're more likely to select from the vicinity from around us and that there are there's more than just one option out there, I think, if we change that mindset. Your third tip is a nod to social media, and you say we need to get back to IRL, so in real life. Yes. Yeah. I think we're going to see this step up this year. Um, there, is, there does seem to be a swing back towards quality, again, over quantity. And although social media has tremendous benefits and, and, and helps in a lot of ways, um, I think part of the reason for that spike in loneliness is that increase in disconnection that technology has created. So yes, it's quality over quantity. There's nothing that replaces in-person contact, a warm hug, um, looking into someone's face. There's just nothing that replaces it. So that would be my third tip. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's there's such a big difference between like spending time in totally. person with someone. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I love this next tip. You say, you do you and the rest will follow. <laughs> I think people are always wondering how can they draw people towards them. And the funny thing is just doing your, like being in love with your own self, living your life your way, um, confidently, strongly, people are drawn to that. That's very magnetic. So, you know, uh, if you really do enjoy that authentically and intentionally, you will naturally attract people to you. So I think it's really important to kind of tie to tip number one. <clears throat> enjoy being you. Live your life, make your plans. Don't rely on other people or having to do stuff with other people. Do it for yourself, other people will come. That last tip goes hand in hand with your final piece of advice to make You Inc. a priority. You Inc. is this little thing that I talk about in my practice, which is basically related to the fact that a lot of people care so much about what people think of mm -hmm. them. And they get really anxious and nervous, and this is very common. And You Inc. basically means that you're the owner and CEO of your own life and you own 51% of the shares. The other 49% should only be occupied or taken up by the pe most important people. So friends, family, parents, spouses, children, and anyone else outside of that doesn't really get a lot of vote or influence. So if you can kind of conceptualize things that way and know that there's only, there are people you'll need approval from, you'll want their approval, but we just, there's so many people outside of that equation that it just doesn't matter what they think or say about us. Mm -hmm. I so I think it. that's really important to remember as well. How to win in 20, win at life in 2019. Thank you so much, Natasha. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.